100 meters. There you see the world record by Hisham El Garouge set in 1998. He is in the race, and Garouge has the fastest time in the world this year. El Garouge said that his last 1,500 meters would have been at the World Championships in Edmonton, but so far we've seen him on the track twice, this being the second time running it again. Uh, he is not ready to move up to the 5,000 meters yet, uh, citing a bit of fatigue and a feeling that he'd have a better opportunity to strike victories as he likes to do at 1,500 meters. And the pace they're expected to go by will be Graham Hood from Canada leading in one minute, 50 seconds for 800 meters. How's that, Lewis? Yeah, I can tell you from experience, Larry, and having been a rabbit for seven years on the circuit, there are, there are times when organizers give you a split and you go, are you nuts? I've got to run what? And once again, this is one of those events where they're asking for unbelievable splits to try and set up Hisham El Garouge to an unbelievable time. And they see Graham Hood from Canada himself, really one of the best marathon uh, milers in the world, pulling everybody along, and then he will drop away. And David Lalay, who's running right behind him from Kenya, is expected to tow this field by three of these three and three-quarter laps that make up the 1,500 meters. Garouche is in third place right now. McMullen well back in the pack, approximately 10th. Can't forget about the conditions in Brussels tonight. Uh, around in the, in the upper 70s by now, so it's rather warm for the type of running they're doing, but uh, hopefully that won't detract from the type of time that uh, El Garouche expects of himself. Good, doing his job. See if he goes by in 54, 54, 5. There is 53, 65. Amazing. Better to be a little short than to be a little bit long. And that puts El Garouge right about 54, which is where he needs to be. It's amazing how he does it as comfortably as he does. That is Bernard Lagat, number 62 from Kenya, the Olympic bronze medalist, as he so often does, holding on desperately to El Garouge to see if he can be with him with 100 to go. He is in fourth place. Well, Lagat's still spending a lot of time in Washington uh, training where he lives, where he went to college. He told me that he keeps his Olympic medal in his, well, in a drawer where his underwear are. I just might as well say that's where it is. <laughs> Not in the bank vault where I think it should be. Well, if the place gets broken into, who's going to look there, right? Exactly. They'll blame me, too, for saying it on television. Two laps to go. Hood holding on well. Keep in mind, one minute, 50 seconds. Sensational time. Excellent time for 800 meters alone is what they're expected to go by. There you see them coming up right now to the 800 meters. 150 on the nose. Talk about doing your job like a metronome. Well, now what he'll have to do, Graham Hood, is to try and get to the outside of lane one, drift over to lane two, and get out of the way, and let the next pacemaker take the lead. And then Hisham El Garouge probably shortly after will take over. David DeLay has picked up the pace as expected. There is Paul, a quick shot of Paul McMullen back in that pack. It is now El Garouge in second place. His grandparents and relatives, he has some living in this country of Belgium. Him, here to cheer him on. His grandparents had never seen him run before. In third place, that is the the beautiful stride, really, of Bernard Lagat. And now look at Levy Lele as he begins to drift to the outside and allow a lane for Hisham El Garouge to make the pass whenever he's ready. One lap to go. And it's El Garouge setting the pace. Watch. Coming up to 1,200 meters. And watch for this split now as you begin to consider the world record. Come 2.46. I'm not sure I've ever seen one faster for 1,200 meters, ever. And look at Bernard Lagat hold on desperately. It is just the two of them right now. El Garouche with less than 200 meters to go. Bernard Lagat, the Olympic silver medalist, holding on as well as he ever has before this late in the race. He looks strong to me, Lewis. He looks awfully strong, and right now he's looking for some sign of fatigue from El Garouge. But right now, this is when El Garouge has to push. Ken cannot Lagat catch him. It is El Garouge with half a step and Bernard Lagat. El Garouge, just 20 meters to go, and he gets the oh! victory. It is a new meet record and just off the world record by 13 one hundredths of a second. A sensational performance. The second fastest 1,500 meter time ever run in history goes to that man. And Lagat comes over to offer his thanks and respect to Hisham El Garouge. And Garouge is one of the most gracious winners that you'll ever see in the world of sport. Always offering his congratulations to everyone. Still in the money he is. Look at this finishing kick, Larry. El Garouge is smooth as he runs to a, a near world record, and Lagat is right behind him, stretching out with all he has, not able to catch El Garouge, but still running an unbelievable time. Absolutely phenomenal. 
and Bernard Lagat becomes the second fastest performer in the history of metric mile running and a phenomenal performance by that man for his relatives and his grandparents here where he's had great success at the Van Damme Memorial in Brussels. The men's 1500 meters, one of the truly great races of all time. Won by Hisham El Garouz, just 12 one hundredths of a second off his world record. Bernard Lagat, easily a personal best in second. And William Tuchir, just 22 years of age, gets under three minutes and 30 seconds for the 1500 meters in third.